show you how to make your own clip art using Cameo Silhouette software. So it's pretty easy. Uh, first thing you have to do is go to, actually let me move this over because this is what we are going to make. And then once you learn how to make this, you will be able to go and make some other clip art images. But we'll use this as our, our example. So first thing you want to do is click this button right here. And then you're going to make sure that this is on Cameo. And then make sure this says Cameo 12 by 12. And then for the media size, you're going to click here. And we are going to choose 12 by 12 because we want to make this image as large as possible because we wanted to have a large DPI so that the quality is great. Okay, from here we are going to click over here and there are all these different shapes that you can work with in the Cameo Silhouette software program. So we're going to click here and we're going to grab the star shape and we're going to just pull down while holding your uh, left mouse button and let's go here click off it so that way we can move it down some click on it again and keep making it bigger we're going we're trying to make it as big as the um, 12 by 12 um, screen okay that should be good I'm gonna just center it over here Okay, next we're going to click on it, and then now we're going to choose the color. So you can choose whatever color you want. I'm going to go with the yellow. And now we need to give her some eyes. So go back to our shape button, find our circle shape, and I'm going to just pull down. Actually, that's a little big. Come back in some more. There we go. Click off. Click on the shape again. Go up here and select the color you, color you want. So I'm going to go with black. And to me, that's still a little big, so I'm going to just bring it in some. There we go. Now make it a little bigger. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm going to right click on it hit copy, right click again, hit paste, and I'm going to just move it over and try to make sure that it is even to the other eye. And actually, I'm going to move it in a little closer. You can space out your eyes as far as wide as you want, but I'm going to move them over. And I'm going to use my left arrow. That's about good. Okay, from here, let's give her her hair bow. And the shape I use for that is, looks like this little flower right here. So I'm gonna click on that. Just hold your left mouse button. And, and I'm using a, a PC, you guys, so I'm not too sure how to use a Mac, so I'm not sure what you would do, what buttons you would click, but um, you guys get the gist. All right, so now I have my bow. I'm going to click on it and select my color. I'm gonna go with this pink. And I'm gonna just move it over here in her hair. Make it a little bigger. Click off and then position it where I want it. That looks cute. Now for her mouth, we're going to use the shape that looks like this. And I'm just going to pull down. And okay, that's a shape, then I clicked off of it. So obviously that is too big, which is not a problem because we're going to go and fix it. So click off it and grab this little arrow so we can grab it. Got you. There you go. 
and now I'm going to click on the edge and then take this little green handle to flip it upside down and then let's move her over to where you want it positioned so now we're going to take this little area right here actually let me click off and then click here again and then let's make it pink whatever color you like and this little piece right here I'm just going to pull it down like that I mean, actually that's kind of funny looking but you know what some people might like that so All right so I'm going to make her mouth a little smaller so we're going to take here and just pull down there you go now on here her mouth is a little wider so let's see if we can do that so we're gonna pull this way and, whoop. and to the top pull down here you kind of just have to play around with the shape that you want So there you have it. You now have your clip art. And then all you have to do from here is uh, select all, actually just take your cursor up here and that way you can select everything. And then you're gonna go to file, save selection, save to hard drive. And then you can choose down here whether you want to save it as an SVG. PNG, JPEG, um, PDF file. So I'm going to, um, for the sake of this video, I'm going to save it as a PNG file so that the backdrop is, um, the background is transparent. So I'm going to select PNG and I'm going to name it Sun Girl PNG. I'm going to hit OK. And then here I'm going to, because I want the quality to be um, as good as possible, I'm going to select all the way here and I'm going to select transparent back, transparent background. Now I've, um, now I've called silhouette because when I tried to just save it as like a normal 300 DPI, which is like the normal thing you do for um, clip art that especially if you're trying to sell it. However, when you save it as 300 DPI, and when I upload it to my um, uh, Adobe Photoshop, the DPI is, um, shows 72. So according to Cameo Silhouette, this function doesn't work correctly. So um, what I'm showing you right now is just another way around it. So save it as um, high as possible, which is here, it says 359. It has width um, 4029, height and pixels 4004. So I save it as this, and then I just manip manipulate the image size in my um, photo program. So I, from here, I'm going to save it. And that is it, you guys. So you can, uh, whatever photo program you use, you can go ahead and change the DPI to 300. Um, this file is very large, so um, you will be able to insert it into your programs and not really lose much um, of the quality at all. So this is how you make your clip art using Cameo Silhouette. And again, you can save it as a PNG, JPEG, SVGs, or um, a PDF. So there you have it, guys. I hope this uh, video was helpful, and I will talk to you in the next one. Take care.